What's up y'all, James Huntley here. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips that I have for you guys who have failed the FE twice. Um, this is a very touchy subject and so I wanna help you guys out. I wanna give you some tips and some things that you can do to ensure that you pass on your third try. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So before I go over the first tip on how you can pass your FE Civil, I first want to congratulate you for not stopping. You are continuing to go after your goal of passing this FE exam. Um, I know for some people it can be so frustrating after you, know, you put in some effort, you took the exam, and then you get results back roughly a week later and it says you failed. Then you go back and you've taken the exam, you know, another time and you get results back and you fail. So for you to be taking the time and have the interest to continue and to make sure that you achieve this goal, I applaud you and I am rooting for you. So my first tip to you guys who are trying to pass this thing is that you need to make sure that you have the correct materials for the exam. That can be found on the NCEES website. And so there they will show you the list of materials you need, how long the exam will be, um, all of the specifications, criteria, whatever questions you have, NCEES is going to answer those questions online. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure you, you have the right things that's gonna help you to pass this exam. And for me, it may kind of sound silly, but for the first time that I took, or the second time that I took the exam, I didn't have the correct materials. So I think back in July of 2020, uh, there was a different exam type. And so they changed the criteria. So I was basically studying the wrong reference material. So, just be sure that you're keeping up and studying the correct information and that you have all the necessary materials and the correct materials so that you don't slip up and be in the test and have studied the wrong things. My second tip to you guys who are trying to pass your FE exam is to make sure that you have went through each topic that has been listed in your reference manual on what will be in the test. So in the back in the back of your reference manual, there will be a list of criteria, for example, for civil engineering, um, for that portion of the exam in the back, it lists out different um, topics as well as the number of questions that will be on those topics, as well as, you know, specific things that they'll be testing. So make sure that you've went through all of those topics. And this, this is gonna take some time, so it's just not gonna happen overnight. Of course, you're gonna have to dig in and prioritize and study. Um, but if you can master each of those topics, that's pretty much what they're testing you on the exam. And that's what I have saw um, on the exam, you know, three times being that I took it. And so if you go through each of those topics, you should be very, very prepared for the exam. So my third tip to you guys is to practice, practice, practice. You can't become great unless you've practiced it over and over and over. And for some people, I guess it comes naturally and yes, they are just able to excel in flying colors. But for me, you know, it's really challenging to uh, understand different materials. So I had to practice, I had to you know, take time to master each topic. And so I think for you guys, it would help if you take the time, you know, practice each topic, understand the material, and then I think you'll be ready or more prepared for the exam the next time you take it. And so I would advise that you purchase the FE practice exam that NCAA ES has and so it kind of looks something I don't know if you can see but looks like this I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks um, 
take a Saturday or Sunday or whatever day you have um, to sit the six hours and go through the exam. After you've went through the exam, it kind of gives you a, a prediction of where you're at and you know how comfortable you feel taking the test. If you take the test and you know you get maybe half correct, you're probably you may not be ready for the exam or a little less than half uh, correct. You're probably not ready for the exam. So review those problems, practice those problems even more as well as I invested in another practice test and what I'll do is I can uh, put the link in uh, the description bar um, so that you guys are able to go onto that website um, and if you're even more interested I have another practice test if you DM me on my Instagram that's J underscore get right then I can uh, send you that link as well and I think that the test that I'll uh, be given it it was a lot tougher than than this NCWS exam, and so once you have a variety of different exams, you can really see what you need to work on, what you may need to improve on, and by the time you actually get into the real exam, you're more than ready. And so this is what I did my third time taking it. A little background about me: I don't. Uh, want to take up too much of you guys' time, but the first time I took the exam, I was in college, it was my senior year, and I was kind of going in it uh, for kicks and giggles. And so, went in there, took the exam, didn't really know much of the material, hadn't looked at the reference manual much at all, um, it was just kind of one of those, let me see, let me just take it just to take it. And so, failed the first time then the second time I went in and took it I studied a little bit and I studied the wrong reference manual as well as didn't go over each topic and was still guessing on quite a bit of the question so then the third time I took it was which was really recently um, I took practice tests I went through each of the topics um, I pretty much you know put all of my time in and on the test test day was actually very easy got my results back a week later and I passed um, so definitely would advise you know practice 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 I think it'll make you happy at the end so my last tip to you guys is tip number four and that's to surround yourself with other like-minded people uh, who have already passed the FE exam. So, if you know anyone, any of your classmates, any, peop any, any people that are older than you who have already passed it, talk to them, see some of the techniques that they used. Um, because all the techniques that I've given today uh, may not be enough for you, you know. Maybe there's a different uh, approach that you would like to take uh, to pass the exam. So talk with other people who already have their uh, licensure and I'll be doing the same thing uh, because I'm now I guess I've now that I've passed the FE exam now I'm trying to pass my PE exam so I've already tried to start networking with other PEs and seeing what they did to you know receive their PE trust me it's not impossible to pass this exam just because you failed once or twice or how many ever times you just keep taking it keep taking it keep taking it until you you know reach your goal and pass that exam that's all I have for you guys today if you like this video please be sure to hit the like button and to share it with someone else who may be struggling or who has failed the FE exam once or twice or three times I think it'll be very beneficial for them as well Please be sure to hit the subscribe button as it helps YouTube's algorithm to share my content with other people who may be in your situation and who are struggling. So trying to make an impact. My goal is to have roughly a thousand subscribers by the end of this year of 2021. Um, so every subscriber helps. So I do appreciate you for taking the time and I will see you guys in the next video. Ask yourself, are you really where you want to be?